how are you? I'm very well. I'm glad you finally made it. I've been <laughs> waiting here for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that, half an hour, an hour. But it's okay. Us rock stars have a job to do, man. <laughs> some of you have. Some of us have. And anyway, let's get... Some of us have a harder job to do, and I have to wait on people like you. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he is only kidding, really. Yeah. Um, so congratulations on winning Classic Rock's Album of the Year for Century Overdrive. <laughs> what great. kinds of pressure does this put on you for your next album? Well, I'm not going to try to recreate whatever we've done. I'm just going to keep doing what I do, and that's what I've been doing so far. So it's just great to get recognition like that, really, for once in my career, in my life. For I once. just might be in the right place at the right time. For once. Sure. Sure. And do you think you can do it again with the next album? No, it's going to be a great album, one way or the other. So good, yeah. good. So talking about the follow up album, you initially said you were going to tour on Century Overdrive for a year? Yeah. You're nine months into that now. Uh, yeah. When can we expect a new album? Well, we're working on it now. I mean, working on some songs right now, so okay. uh, it'll be coming out uh, when, it, when we're good and ready. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So I last saw you um, when Ginger was still in the band. Mm -hmm. How different do you think my experience is going to be tonight now that Dragon's in the band and not Ginger? I think you're going to see one more hyperactive maniac like me on stage today. <laughs> <laughs> that is called Dragon. <laughs> it's very much uh, like me on stage. It's, uh, it's a bit different. With the guitar. Yeah, yeah, he's all over the place. It's mm. great. It's like a young Angus Young. Yeah, you know? and Ginger was on stage with you last week. How was that? It was brilliant. It was yeah? great to have him up there. Yeah, he came up to play uh, Super Power, Super Fly, and. Uh, in 78. Okay. It was cool. Yeah. We were hanging out all night and I had a great time. And we're still going to write with him, you know. Brilliant. <laughs> yes, I think yes. that's quite exciting. Yes, yes. That's quite exciting. So I'm really excited about the next album. Yeah. So we'll see what's going to Awesome. Come and could you explain the concept of a solo career versus a band <laughs> career to me as Sammy, Carl, Stephen Dragon are such a cool integral part of the success of the Michael Monroe band. Yeah. Yet it's still pushed as your solo career. Well, Michael Monroe is the name uh, is, is somewhat established and uh, it's, it's good to have that name because uh, it saved us a couple of years of uh, educating people about a band name. Sure, okay. And then uh, then again, it's always good to have that name because if someone comes or goes, it's not going to be the end of the world, you know. So. Uh, okay. The, if somebody decides to leave, it's still, you know... Still, still going to be the Mark Monroe, Monroe Band. Yeah. Okay, it was with interest that I read, you know, sort of, some journalist had sort of questioned you about it's Ginger right. leaving hmm. and Dragon joining, and you said it was so good to have Dragon, you know, you couldn't have just used anyone, and then all of a sudden I thought to myself, but a solo career means you can use session musicians, technically. Well, no, that's the ironic thing, because uh, as compared to, like, especially the, the new rebirth of Hanoi, uh, mm -hmm. This is more band than that was, even though that was sure. called Hanoi Rocks. Sure. This is called Michael Monroe, and this is way more uh, band situation than that was. That was just me and Andy, basically, yeah. and the other guys. Yeah. So this is like really more like a band situation, which is what I prefer. Okay. And I've recently heard talk that you're bringing out an autobiography, or you've brought one out and it's only in Finnish. It's already come out in Finnish. Okay. It's so really as, doing well, too. As an incredibly private person with two books probably even more that sort of mentions you and talks about you in circulation. Why did you feel that now was the time to expose yourself publicly? Well, this guy uh, who wrote the Hanoi Rocks book, the uh, All Those Hristic Years mm -hmm. Hanoi book, that was a really well written book and uh, the guy, mm -hmm. I, I wish that was translated because it was a very, Will it really be? good, well hopefully, eventually, but that, that involves more people than one, so yeah. that's going to be harder. My own book is even easier to do, deal with, you know, to sure. make a deal and get translated to English, uh, which will happen as soon as possible. They told me it takes half a year to translate a book. Wow. I mean, my book is way longer than Hanoi. It's bigger than and longer Hanoi sure. than the Hanoi book, like it, like my solo career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's got 500 pages, you know. Yeah. Lots of pictures and stuff. Sure. But uh, that that's going to be done. Uh, you know, I'm. I would say within a year it should be out okay. in, in the rest of the world. And what's it called? Michael Monroe. <laughs> it's <laughs> the <Bruce> solo <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah, that's much more than But the reason I started doing it was, it was well, partly because the guy who, who wrote the Hannah book convinced me that I have a story to tell and I was trying to be humble as a rap. Okay. I just, you know, who am I, what am I? Yeah. And again, yeah, I do have <laughs> quite a few you stories do. to yeah. tell. And, uh, Especially because if I don't do it myself, then somebody else who doesn't know me that well is going to do it before too long, and it's going to Fair make enough. a you know uh, 
a mess of it, yeah. <laughs> Make a mess of it, yeah. So I figured that it's uh, good that I tell my side of the story. Sure. And is it imperative that it comes out now? Obviously, with sort of considering those reasons, considering that hopefully you're only halfway through your life and there's a lot more to go. Well, that's what I thought. Yes, I'm kind of halfway through my life, and I hope, uh, you know, I could. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how. Long <laughs> but uh, I'm at least been halfway through my life, and. Uh, it, was, it just felt like the right time to do it. Sure. I'm glad I did. Yeah. Because I got a, it's gotten a great response in Finland. I was a little bit, uh, it was uh, not, I may be a bit nervous about how people are going to take it. Take, so yeah. I say a lot, of, a lot of stuff that might be alienating to people, but it's been quite the opposite, you know. Okay. It's a really positive response for it, and it's sold an amazing amount already in Finland. Wow. Like oh, 10,000 copies in Finland. It's a huge amount in Finland. Wow. And usually, the best sellers sell like a couple of thousand in Finland. Sure. So that's, the third pressing is already going into print now. It's a testament of the Michael Monroe name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. If, if someone came up to you and they said they'd never heard any of your music before, which album would you suggest they listen to first and why? Sensory Overdrive. Because <laughs> it describes Michael Monroe right now at this day and age and uh, better than ever as, as I am. And uh, really has all the best ingredients of all my... All the best records I've done, like Not Faking It, Demolition 23, it mm -hmm. just has everything in it. So I think that's the best representation of Michael Monroe. Okay. And finally, I see it's six o'clock. Last question. Mm -hmm. I promised I wouldn't keep you long. Go ahead. How do you feel about being an 80s icon when you're still so relevant as a musician today? Well, well it feels, because I'm still so relevant, it feels great. <laughs> that, for that reason. <laughs> Any, anytime, anywhere, it's great to be Michael Monroe. I always say it's always a good time to be Michael Monroe. Now it seems to be a better time than ever to be Michael Monroe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Love and peace and rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs>